Welcome to our Dream in the Woods. I uh, just want to catch you up a little bit here. We started a year ago uh, with raw ground here and we've logged it, cleared it, destumped it, and currently standing in uh, a barn uh, foundation that's 42 by 60. Uh, the gravel piece here uh, will be uh, places to store things uh, that leak oil and and that don't that can just be stored at outside temperature uh, there'll be a wall here uh, the start of the concrete slab and then this will become a wood shop a workshop uh, semi-heated um, in the foreground there there's a hole there that'll eventually become the crawl space to our house uh, that we're planning on building I plan on milling all of the lumber for the barn uh, on my woodlands uh, HM 130 Max. Uh, I have so it can take a 30 inch log. I have two extensions so I can take a, a 30 inch log and 23 foot uh, in length. Um, and I'm just trying to take care of a few tidy, uh, tidying up uh, organization before I start milling that. Um, and that is going to be to enclose three walls of this sawmill cover and this will become a shed storage area um, and then be able to pull the sawmill head back in there uh, and have it protected so that's on the agenda today I'm going to put up some girts and then I have to mill some board and bat out of some ponderosa pine and get it closed in so it should be a fun fun project on the last video I made this slab rack out of some odds and ends I had laying around um, and the question was will it hold a cord of wood if it's full up to this height and then an angle up to the top height and then pull out the out the sides and my calculation is yes should hold about 1.1 cords of wood uh, which is pretty substantial um, and should be a time saver. A uh, couple things I haven't really thought about is my reach of the chainsaw. Um, you know, once you kind of do the outside, um, uh, we'll just have to see once. I mean, I'll be able to cut from both sides, but um, whether I'll be able to reach the center with the chainsaw I have now is a question mark, but I still think it'll be a time saver and we'll keep my work area clean. We got the first wall up, two foot on center. Looks pretty cool, pretty happy with that. Um, nothing special about this wall. Uh, this back wall, gonna frame in a window, so we're gonna think about that as we put the girts up for this far wall. And then this wall has a consideration for the bench, I'm going to put a bench back there so I kind of want to build off of the girt uh, for that bench as a support. Got Austin here again, helping out, thankful for that. So, nice day and it's going good. Lumber has a little crook here and there, but I think for what we're doing, doing good. Sure it was nice just to go down to the lumber store next to the house here and pick out what you needed out of the piles. So. Um, yeah, nice looking 
Nice looking lumber. Clear difference between the lodgepole pine and the dug fir. The dug fir is just a denser, sturdier uh, wood, heavier for sure. Um, so just have more confidence in the dug fir than I do the jack pine. And so we're gonna go with pretty much 100% dug fir for all the framing, bracing, um, only pine that's gonna be in there is gonna be the board and bat. So good looking stuff. Got the girts up. Um, definitely made the structure more sturdy. And it's all two inch material, um, two by six and two by eight. There's one two by eight there. Um, kind of cool seeing the structure come along. Framed in a window here, uh, 36 by 24. That's on order. Um, this dirt there is at a specific height, 36 inches, and I'm gonna put a two inch slab on for a bench. So that one's a little bit different. Um, kinda had to figure out the detail of putting the board and bat on the outside, so we came up with that. Uh, if it seems like the top of it needs to be strengthened, I'll just put a uh, piece of one or two inch material at the top along that uh, rafter and nail that in and screw it in. So, but we'll see uh, what it looks like. So, pretty cool. Uh, starting to have a feel of a nice little shed down here. And the whole cover in itself is taking shape. 